Hey everyone, this is Tim Halbach from the National Weather Service in Milwaukee Sullivan. Just wanted to do a little piece on all the wind damage that we had last week from a couple rounds of uh, severe thunderstorms. We had a lot of questions from people asking why wasn't this considered to be tornado damage. We know that it was pretty intense in some spots and we just wanted to kind of inform people that uh, straight line winds can do this kind of high end type damage where a lot of trees can go down. Sometimes there's structural damages to house houses. Uh, it's not just tornadoes that can do this kind of damage. The two main examples we had were from last Monday and last Wednesday. Quite a bit of tree damage. Some of it was actually localized along some paths which made it look like it might have been a tornado but really it was uh, probably either a microburst or uh, a gust nato which we'll talk about here in a little bit. So one of the things we just wanted to talk about, uh, when we look at tornadoes and straight line wind damage, uh, comes one of the main things that we look at is what way was the debris going. With tornadoes, they end up being more of a, a upward motion with it. So we look for debris to be kind of lofted and taken down a path. A lot of times you'll find debris scattered uh, farther away from its source as opposed to with uh, downbursts or straight line winds, these tend to be more of a downward motion where it looks like things have been just pushed down. And the winds uh, from tornadoes and these straight line winds can be about the same. Uh, if anything, the straight line winds can be a little bit more dangerous because they're more widespread than just a tornado which uh, will cut a small path along uh, you know, whatever path it's taken. Straight line winds can be along a long line of uh, thunderstorms with it. So this is what we saw last week, uh, particularly on Monday and Wednesday. Just to show some different examples here, this is some example of uh, some tornado damage from here in southeastern Wisconsin from a number of years ago. Uh, from this you can see the house has been hit by a tornado and the debris has been kind of picked up and thrown. Uh, all the insulation is up in the higher parts of the tree here. On the house on the right hand side, the insulation has been uh, again lofted on top of the roof there and then splattered against the side of the house. Uh, that's typically what we'll see with a tornado. In this example here, this was the Stone Tornado from 2005. You can see with the motion with this tornado that it's all going up. Uh, the, the wind is going from the ground to the up and it's picking up all this trees uh, and the debris here which is actually falling right in front of these people that are watching this video here. So with tornadoes, that's something we're looking for. We're looking for whether or not that was actually debris was getting lofted and going up into the thunderstorm. Another thing that we see uh, with thunderstorms is people saying, well, the tree was twisted, so that must have been from a tornado. This is an example uh, recently from a storm in uh, Marquette County from Wednesday where uh, it looks like a tree was twisted here. Well, when a tornado comes through, it doesn't just cut it like a saw would, where it cuts it in half and then falls over. It's all kind of on, on the tree for how it snaps and then ends up falling uh, based on the structure of the tree. So you can imagine a big push going onto a tree, causing it to break. It's gonna fall in whatever direction um, that force is coming from. Typically, if there's a lot of trees that are down, you can kind of make out a pattern from that, a general pattern, but just because a tree is laying one way or another doesn't guarantee that uh, that was from a tornado. But it is something that we're looking into uh, with uh, the pattern of it at least. Here's an example of straight line winds from earlier this year down in Rock County. Uh, you can kind of make out all the debris here. This was a farm that got hit by uh, some 60, 70 mile per hour winds. And the sheet metal with this typically would be very easily lofted if this was a tornado. You typically see all this sheet metal hanging from the tops of the trees here. But in this case, you can imagine the wind coming down and pushing it and just kind of tumbling it along the bottom of the ground here. That's why it's all scattered across the bottom of the forest over here. So these are some of the things that we look at when we're trying to determine whether or not a, a tornado or straight line winds have occurred. Here's a nice schematic from the weather service showing a microburst and what this is. A lot of times these can have a path and it looks like a tornado has gone through, but it's got this just direct kind of force downward for where this uh, intense wind comes from. And uh, these are very serious winds and they can tend to happen over a larger area. The microbursts are in a localized area, but the winds that you see from that are, are pretty extreme. So with that, I uh, just wanted to share some information about tornado damage surveys and what we do and compare how uh, straight line wind damage are something serious that we need to uh, be concerned about and be ready to 
uh, be in shelter when straight line winds, severe thunderstorm warnings do get issued. Thank you.